Welcome to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use maths tutorial site designed for nurses. In this video, we're going to consider calculating the correct volumes for injections. So let's look at a typical drugs calculation test question. A patient is to receive an injection of gentamicin, 60 milligrams. The ampule contains 80 milligrams in 2 milliliters. What volume of drug should be drawn up? To answer this question, we need to use the following formula. Prescribed amount, multiplied by the stock volume, divided by the available stock strength. So in this question, the prescribed amount is 60 milligrams, and we multiply that by the 2 milliliters of the stock volume. We then divide this by the available stock strength, in this instance, 80 milligrams. So 60 milligrams multiplied by 2 milliliters gives us 120, and that's divided by the 80 milligrams. Now to make our calculation more manageable, we can look to simplify this fraction of 120 divided by 80. And we can look for a common factor, a number that fits into both 80 and 120. And in this instance, it's 10. So 120 divided by 10 gives us 12, and 80 divided by 10 gives us 8. We've created a more manageable fraction or more manageable division, 12 over 8. 12 divided by 8 gives us our answer of 1.5 millilitres. So let's try another question. Only this time consider the way that the question has been worded. Heparin is available at a strength of 5,000 units per 5 millilitres. What volume is needed to give 800 units? The question is exactly the same as the question we've just completed. It's just been worded in a slightly different way. So if we look at the question, it says what volume is needed to give 800 units? Well, that effectively means that's the prescribed amount. So we can simply input these numbers into our formula. So that's the prescribed amount of 800 units, and that's multiplied by the stock volume, in this case, 5 millilitres. And that's all divided by the available stock strength, again, in this case, 5,000 units. So we've got 4,000 units, since 800 multiplied by 5 is 4,000 divided by 5,000. And again, employing that rule of looking for the highest common factor, we can find that each can be divided by 1,000. 4,000 divided by 1,000 gives us 4. 5,000 divided by 1,000 gives us 5. We're looking to create a simple calculation. So 4 divided by 5 gives us the answer of 0 0.8 milliliters. You can find lots more free maths help for nurses at www.nursenet.co.uk.